Hello Pisces and welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading. It will be from the 15th to the 21st of January 2024 for the sign of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you're well. As always, take what resonates. It won't be for everyone. So let's see what we have for you. We have empowerment. As your first message, I'm going to pull you an Archangel Michael card. Message for Pisces for the week. Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides. What do we have for Pisces? Two cards. Number 28, someone new is coming. An important new relationship is on the horizon. Open your mind and heart so that happiness can enter your life. And we have number nine, don't give up on love. A relationship you cherish can be healed. Allow me to clear the way for forgiveness so that love can thrive again. So whether this is about renewal or someone new, or whether there's two different people here, Let's see. It's going to be empowering week anyway, so let's see what we have for you. I'm going to pull some cards. Let's see what we have for Pisces. Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides. What is it that Pisces needs to hear for the week to come? What do we have for Pisces? Thank you. Thank you. Ace of Wands, exciting new beginning. And that really can be in any aspect of life. You know, the Ace of Wands can be very exciting in terms of new projects, new initiatives, job, business, opportunity. It can also be very positive in terms of new passion, new design, new chemistry, or getting that back in relationships. Really, with us ourselves, Ace of Wands is when we want to start something that's really exciting for us, something that we have an interest in, something that we feel, can feel connected to with our heart and soul. So that really can be anything. For you know, And it can also represent things like when you have a real affinity, a soul connection with a place or state or county, we just, you might want to choose to move there, you know? This can be that kind of exciting new door that you're opening. So Ace of Wands is always lovely to see in a reading because it represents that sense of something that really is connected to your heart and soul, a new door that can open, where you see great potential on a new path. Three of Pentacles. Page of Cups. Strength. We have the Page of Pentacles here. Three of Swords. Temperance. And we have the Nine of Cups. So Page of Pentacles and Three of Pentacles. So we have, uh, there could well be a, a love situation here. Now this is just not limited to romance. It could well be a friend, you know, uh, even a family member. So whatever the scenario is here, Pisces, it feels like there is the opportunity of, uh, it feels like new growth, um, new exciting energy, certainly in terms of love, romance, relationships, this can represent chemistry, passion, desire, like getting that spark, you know, or that spark back. The Page of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles, this can be, Pentacles energy when we're dealing with emotions are all about what brings us stability and security. So this is somebody who is likely wanting to embrace uh, some kind of new path trying to rebuild, trying to make something work. You know, this is the energy here. 
it feels like there is an opportunity to rebuild. Somebody wants to start over, start again. This is that kind of scenario here. It could well be an apology for causing you hurt. Again, Page of Cups, we, you could also be dealing with a child here as well, with the pages being in your reading. Three of Swords is can be about emotional pain, painful truths, third-party situations, betrayal, or someone's action, actions causing you pain in some way. So this can really be an apology, somebody who is wanting to start over, start again. And it really is about having the strength to look at the situation head on. And sometimes asking ourselves, did we pay a, play a part in it as well? But not always. You know, it is about just having the strength to face the reality of a situation and be truly honest with yourself in that moment if we're in, and being in your truth in terms of whether you can find some kind of way to heal and get the happiness back. This is really when you're looking at something and saying, is real happiness again available again? And do I want it? Do I want to try it? Do I want to see if we can make this work? Do I want to see if happiness can be on this path? If you're choosing between, again, it could well be you and this person and another person, because this could be an ex as well. Um, because that's what I was, I mean, for some of you, that's what I was feeling in this energy. It's about approaching things in an empowered way and facing the reality between a person who you see potential with, chemistry with, the spark with, passion with, real growth with, and somebody who may have caused you hurt and seeing if there is potential with that person. So it's about choosing where your heart lies. I mean, it's letting your heart lead the way, really. I mean, that's the energy here. But and having the strength to follow that through, you know, uh, having the strength to follow your heart. That's the energy that I'm seeing here. And really, that's what I'm getting. If it was like a work thing here, Pisces, which I'm really not getting too much of, but if it was a work scenario, it might well be something is presented to you, but it may well be some kind of compromise or you might have to negotiate, you know, um, you may have to compromise on embracing a new path. It might not be everything that you want. But certainly with the Nine of Cups being in your reading, again, this could be somebody giving you advice. Maybe if you've gone through some kind of painful experience in some way where you felt betrayed or, you know, an experience gave, you know, caused you emotional pain in some way, this would be that kind of energy as well. And again, it's the strength to face things head on in terms of in your truth where you see great fulfillment happening for you in terms of business career finances because it feels like this is really exciting it just feels like this is really exciting but i have to compromise and i don't know whether to go for it or not because i don't know whether i should make that compromise or not but it feels like this would be about having the strength to be really truly honest with yourself and decide whether you want this opportunity or not and again, letting what makes you happy, joy, and also financial, you know, um, potential fulfillment guide the decision here as well. So that would be the energy in terms of, again, money, career, financial areas is what I'm getting. But it's so strongly on, on in terms of relationships, I felt. Um, I certainly feel certainly in terms of relationships. You're either dealing with kind of like a not not necessarily a third party situation, but maybe a three way situation choice between two people or for others of you. This is about a person wanting to rebuild with you. So that's what I'm getting here. I'm going to pull you an Angel and Ancestors Oracle card. What do we have for Pisces? Thank you. And strength, certainly in terms of finances, strength can be looking at your situation head on uh, and being truly honest with yourself. And it might well be, again, temperance can be a little bit of kind of um, almost kind of like finding some kind of happy medium, you know. This can be that scenario in terms of a work scenario that you're happy with. 
and that will be you don't get everything that you want but it certainly is finding some kind of happy medium here yeah it's interesting the trader came out which is exchange of energy you know to in and fro in or giving and give and take you know that kind of thing which we can do in reconciliation we can also do that in terms of money so we have trader exchange energy to create abundance Let me read that out to you. Make connections and exchange information, talents or support. The universe operates under the law of cause and effect and is always looking to return to a natural state of balance. So if you are lacking in the feelings of abundance at this time, you are being invited to share your time, your gifts and your understanding with others. If you are frustrated because something isn't unfolding in your life, Instead of asking yourself what you can get, ask yourself what you can give. The exchange of energy doesn't necessarily mean financial energy. It can be about supporting in order to feel supported. If you've been holding back with your offerings, now is the time to change that. Allow yourself to be open, honest and vulnerable. This can prepare you to open up to even greater opportunities in the coming days, weeks and months. All right, Pisces, I'm going to pull you a final fairy message. Let's see what we have for you. What do we have for Pisces? Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides. We have precious time. The fairy of time wants you to experience every moment fully and to make the most of your precious time. Be mindful not to waste others' time either. That's what I have for you, Pisces. I hope you enjoyed your reading, maybe found it helpful, useful. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful week. I will see you next time.